you made that big announcement. Right, had my theater for sale and I got out of the restaurant business. So I'm looking forward to taking the music back to the folks on the road. But you'll come back from time to time. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I enjoy it here. This is a beautiful country. After all these years, I have learned that no one can fulfill your vision. Because we each have a vision and a purpose to fulfill. I remember when I was 22 years old, I prayed, Lord, I want to do all that you've ordained me to do before the foundation of the world, nothing more, nothing less. Yes. And I yes. prayed that through the decades, that same prayer. I came out of a hippie life. Teresa came out of a life where she'd never, you know, smoked, never drank, never hung around with folks that do. Our lives were opposite when we met right in Bible school. And I was totally transformed, radically saved, like Carmen sings, you know. Alrighty, well this is Farmer John here with you and I want to talk today a little bit about eco-evangelism. And uh, I've had a lot of people say, what do you mean by eco-evangelism? And I mean um, giving food wisdom to people. Years ago we uh, were in Dallas, Texas. And you were having trouble walking because mm -hmm. you had some extra pounds on you, right? I had a lot of extra pounds on me. And then one day I saw you and I went, oh my heavens, what happened? <laughs> you looked so good and so healthy. Thank you. Thank so you. I want to know exactly how that change came about and why and how you did it. Well, I think, I think first of all, I, I, I read this book and, and, and the first chapter of the book really discouraged you in, in the sense of it said, you don't really want to lose weight, you're lying to yourself. And it said, really what, what, what should you be asking yourself, are you willing to do the things that's required to lose weight? Because is there a person out there who doesn't want to lose weight? I have such empathy for pastors now because all of a sudden now you're, you're running a, a hospital and uh, you're stress eating, but also you're social eating. You're eating, you know, breakfast at eight, breakfast at 10, lunch, you know, you're having all these meetings and stuff like that, but I stress ate. I mean, come eight o'clock at night and I was thinking all these, I, you know, a lady told me something that I should have remembered. A lady said to me, you're new in all of this. And I said, yes, I am. And she said, two things you need to know. She says, number one, there's a God, and number two, it's not you. Uh, this is the time. This is the day that the Lord has made, and this has been wonderful. It's a Sunday afternoon, and we're driving in this beautiful place in the Ozarks yes. with a horse, with Bucky's oh, horse yeah. and the buckboard. We all might need a buckboard in the future. Get ready. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are with Clark Tolliver today. I'm so excited to see you. It's nice running into you. Glad to be here. Because every time we talk, I love your passion. I say this is time to get ready, to get things right before the Lord, repent, because we don't have much longer. We're on borrowed time. We don't have to die sick. We just don't have to die sick. And I hear so many people say, well, my aches and pains, they're just, yes. it just comes with old age. And yes. I don't buy that. I don't buy it at I all. I don't either at all. Because we can take authority mm -hmm. over our health, just like redeeming the lands, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. We can redeem our health. We can redeem our relationships. Yes. Every single thing that we're involved in, God gives us the power and authority yes. in Jesus' Ooh. name, is what that was and resist the temptation. This is what God showed me when I was ill. You know, I was on my deathbed. Mm -hmm. 
and I was very ill. And I started repeating those healing scriptures. Mm -hmm. And he gave me this. Do not talk about your illness. Do not have a pity party. Because the more we talk about it, the more it we have it, so we keep it. It is so true. That is so We have to resist true. it because it's yes. just the enemy yes. trying to kill, steal, and destroy. And he is, too. That's you just right. canceled your prayers. That's Exactly. You just canceled it. Yes. Yeah. And I want to pray for those out there. And Jeannie, too, if, like, if you okay. have something on your heart to okay. pray for whoever is watching. Okay. We might not be able to see you, but we can feel. Mm -hmm. We feel right through these lenses, the spirit. And we know there's people watching that are hurting and that need salvation even. They need healing, whatever the need is, whatever the challenge is. Father, I just thank you for touching yes. those people right now that are watching, those people that are crying out for you, that need help, Father. I thank you for drawing them close to you. Draw them close, Father. Reveal yourself in a real way yes, and heal, heal, save, touch, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' Lord. mighty name. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah.